As Kenya grapples with a surge of COVID-19 infections and the looming threat of a fourth wave of COVID-19, the government is focusing on the acquisition of more vaccines to achieve herd immunity. This even as Kenya expects 400,000 more doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine, a donation from the United Kingdom, to arrive in the country tomorrow. And as Dokes Wangira reports, Pfizer vaccines have been given the green light for emergency use in Kenya. With just slightly less than 2 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine having been administered, Kenya is still far from achieving its vaccination goals and the much-desired herd immunity and vaccinating at least 10 million Kenyans by the end of the year. Kenya, just like many countries in the developing world, is still waiting in line to acquire COVID-19 vaccines in an atmosphere of global vaccine inequity and vaccine apartheid. 40 days. Speaking to Sky News in the United Kingdom, President Uhuru Kenyatta underscored the danger of vaccine apartheid and vaccine nationalism. We know there are some countries that have vaccinated well over 40, 50 percent of their adult population are now vaccinating even teenagers and on top of that have surpluses, 40, 50 million doses, but are still not ready to share that with the rest of the world. And this is something we are fighting and we're going to fight day and night until we ensure that there is equity. The Kenyan government seeks to procure 13 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine through the African Vaccine Acquisition Trust Avat AU mechanism with delivery expected in August. However, even the country's purchasing power will still have to contend with production delays and pharmaceutical corporations protecting their medicine monopolies to secure the few remaining doses of vaccines. When they were doing clinical trials, when they were doing the research into some of these vaccines, and then all of a sudden we find ourselves unable to access those same vaccines, the fact of the matter is nobody not here in the UK, not in the United States, not in Germany. Nobody's going to be safe until everybody's safe. Kenya, as part of bilateral donations, expects to receive 1.76 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine from the U.S. government, 410,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine from the U.K. government, 235,000 doses from Greece, and 55,000 doses from Latvia. Through the COVAX mechanism, Kenya has been allocated 407,040 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine and 271,000 440 doses of Pfizer. But even as these vaccines arrive, there is no plan to adopt a mix and match administration of doses or giving a third booster dose to those who are already vaccinated. We are still encouraging that those who got AstraZeneca initially, it's encouraging that you still get your AstraZeneca if you can get it. As we continue, we advise them later on how that mix and match is going to work. We will not be vaccinating anybody who has been fully vaccinated with AstraZeneca and now vaccinated the same people with Pfizer. Before Kenya can receive the Pfizer vaccines, which will require storage at negative 70 degrees, Kenya will be receiving 15 ultra-cold chain freezers from the UPS Foundation of the United States, valued at 150,000 US dollars. So far, the best counties in terms of full coverage of adult population are Nairobi at 7.1%, Nyeri 5.4%, Laikipia 3.6%, and Nakuru at 3.3%. Dorka Swangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.